The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you find this video and podcast helpful. If you need some help, please feel free to call us at 515-207-2006. We offer free consultations in many areas of law, and we have several geographic locations for your convenience. We serve all of Iowa. We're also happy to meet with you and provide most legal services virtually without requiring you to leave your home. Enjoy the video. Hello everyone, this is Matt with Learn About Law. And in this video, I'm going to explain how parental rights are terminated in the state of Indiana. Some questions you might have are, can I terminate the other birth parents' rights? No only in the very limited circumstances discussed in the article linked. How do parental rights get terminated? Either through an adoption proceeding or through Indiana DCS involvement on behalf of a child alleged to be abused, neglected, or delinquent. Is Indiana a mother or father state? Indiana is neither. Allocation of custody and parenting time is not based on gender in Indiana. Neither is gender considered when alleged abuse, neglect, or delinquency lead to a proceeding in which the state gets involved in the parent-child relationship. What makes a parent unfit in Indiana? Unfit, as related to parenting, is not a term used by the Indiana legislature. Only IC 31-1998 uses the term unfit as it relates to parenting. It is not nomenclature used anywhere else in the Indiana Code. For reasons that a child is found in need of services, please see the section entitled Department of Child Services Action in our article below. How long does a father or mother have to be absent to lose parental rights in Indiana? Being absent in and of itself does not lead to loss of parental rights. There are circumstances under which a parent charged with caring for the child or for responding to legal process regarding the child could lead to loss of parental rights if the parent remains absent, however. What are grounds for termination of parental rights in Indiana? That is discussed at length in the article linked below. What determines parenting time in Indiana? Indiana has rules and guidelines that may be deviated from but are generally followed by the courts. The rules can be found at www.in.gov slash courts slash rules slash parenting slash index. Five things to know are that a written consent to adoption may be withdrawn within 30 days of signing. Numerous persons or agencies may need to be notified in a termination of parental rights proceeding. Once the Indiana Department of Child Services is involved in a parent-child relationship, a parent should follow any recommended service plan in order to maintain the parent-child relationship. Normally, the Indiana Department of Child Services must make reasonable attempts to preserve and reunify the family. There are exceptions to this rule. If the child is to be placed outside of his or her household by DCS, first consideration for the child's placement must be given to blood relatives or adoptive relatives. Thanks for watching, and to learn more about the termination of parental rights in Indiana, check out our article linked below. Be sure to leave any questions you have in the comments sub uh, section and subscribe for more legal content daily. Hello again, this is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you enjoyed this video and podcast. If you did, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to our channel. If you need legal help in this or any other area of law, please do not hesitate to reach out and schedule a consultation. Most consultations are free and all can be conducted remotely if you'd like. Please email us, book online, or call us at 515-207-2006. We have many locations for your convenience. We serve all of Iowa. Thank you again for watching.